Hello guys, I welcome you all to the next lesson on advanced SQL series. In the previous lesson, we have learned about the null values and how to get rid of those particular null values in our table. In this particular lesson, we'll be learning and adding more to our knowledge in SQL. I hope you're enjoying this particular series and it is adding value to your life. Uh, so let's start with what's a key in SQL. I'll just open my editor and show you what basically is the key. I'll just do a describe and I'll just describe my table. We have seen default, we have seen null. What exactly is the fourth column key? And that is empty. So key is basically, it gives a basic identifier to all the rows of our column. To explain this case in much more detail, let's start with the code. I'll create a database of the students. In the first column, I'll keep the name of the students, and in the second column, I'll keep the marks of all those in students. So we'll create a table, create table students. I'll mention the column names or the name of the student and it should be a var attire I'll just give him the upper end 200 and uh, the other should be the marks of the student and this should be an integer let's do a select star from students showing an empty set what we will do we'll add some values to the students table search into students name comma marks we'll add some values here so my values will add multiple rows student one marks is one uh, okay, let's do it. Let's give real names. So, Ram, Ram has 100 marks. Ma, Sham, Sham has 200 marks. Next again, Ram. This time, Ram has 200 marks. Again, Ram has hundred marks, and uh, add Lakshman. Lakshman has four hundred marks. The records have been updated. We'll do a select star from students. Now you guys might be thinking why I have added the same uh, student names again and again and uh, what is the motive behind that. So the motive behind this is to basically un uh, make you understand the importance of the primary key which we be using in SQL. So um, you can see ram and hundreds is coming up two times what if these two are in real life these two are two different students named ram and they have the same marks hundred so uh, is there any column which is uh, letting us know of this particular detail as this particular rows are exactly two different students whom we are referring to and the answer is no we have another uh, row the third row ram and 200 and that is also a different student so you could see here the data you can repeat the same data as many as number of times we want to and each row is nothing uh, which is distinguishing so we are not able to distinguish 
all the all the students named as Ram um, by looking at this particular data. So that particular that definitely means we need to have a column which should tell us that these three students are exactly three different people and not the same people which we are referring to and there we'll be using the primary key so i'll be adding another column here of roll number because each student will be having a different roll number and by that means we'll be identifying that each student name as ram is different and uh, even if they have the same marks they are two different students so we move towards the primary key section so here you could see we'll be adding the raw number column as the primary key and we'll make that is the primary key because that also makes sense because that is how we'll be recognizing the rows for that particular thing the syntax is pretty much simple we'll be creating another table this time and we'll be adding the primary key that is the roll number so let's start we'll create another table create table students to add name worker 200 is there a default value yes not found blood marks marks is an end will not add any default values and uh, we'll be referring the roll number column as the primary key so we'll add and roll number is an integer and one more condition that it should not be null it is an integer and it should not be null and we have to write primary to see the syntax primary key is roll number fully executed let do a select star from students to okay that's wrong spelling it is telling as an empty set let us add few values insert to students to uh, name marks roll number and then we'll need to add the same uh, value again we'll just add it in red and one some syntax error Shyam two hundred two ten Ram two hundred three Ram uh, let's take the same marks for two different students and Lakshman four hundred and Let's do a select star and see the details. It's 
so you could see uh, we have added certain values but what if we want to see the raw number column is the correct primary key value so try to do a describe and we can write uh, students to and in the key column you could see pri short form comes up that means that raw number column is the primary column what if we forcibly try to add a value with uh, which the particular primary key same as present in the table so i'll just add a data with a primary key as three as we know primary keys are unique and there there can be just be a single row with that particular primary key i'll add a primary key three but with different values let's see so insert into students two give the name marks and ball and the values I'll just give any values I'll give at uh, uh, let's say I'll give at my name shoe and I'll give my marks as 200 and I'll give my volume as 3 try to enter this and it shows me an error and that is exactly what we meant it should show an error because each row corresponds to a particular unique value each student has a unique roll number attached to them and this data is not added in our students column and we could see this by being a simple star you could see my name is not added so this is all about the primary key and how we'll be using it in our uh, databases i hope you like this video i've tried to cover the database section in very much detail if you have any doubt please write it in the comment section and i'll try to reply to those doubts keep learning sql and i hope you the best meet you in the next video thank you